Hey guys, it's Roscoe on the Space Coach today. I've got another in the Galactic Encounters series, Dangerous Frontiers, again by Stephen Caldwell. This one, ever since I got the book, it was falling apart, so I have to be very careful with the bits I show you that the pages don't fall out. But yes, it had some great images. I mean, check this out. Whoa, see, half the book is falling out there. So there's that. That's fantastic. That's something in orbit, I guess. Or maybe it's the top of a space elevator. Let's see. Yes, that must be like some kind of, say, Arctic or uh, Antarctic base. There's that image that we saw in one of the other books, you know, that could have been like, say, from the Foundation series. In this instance, it's the largest commercial transit terminal in the Federation at Grafton Spread near the equator. Completed in 2186. That looks to be in that similar sequence of, say, that marshalling yard um, from Tobruk and also the pirate base I showed you in the previous book. What else do we have? There's that one again. I absolutely love that image. Really can't imagine that just being on that ship heading towards that destination. Uh, yes, the once bustling space lanes leading to Alpha Indy 2 are now seldom used. Only few craft use it like that one. Let's see, some of these pages, like I say, are falling apart. Be very careful with these. Yeah, from the moment I got it, this book, the, the binding had just collapsed. Now, I really like this. This is pretty interesting. The streamlined nature of those vehicles. Giant vehicles they are as well, let me point out. Let's see, what else do we have? Yeah. Now, I wonder if... <laughs> The Mars Rover guys, if any of them ever saw this image when they were growing up, because it kind of is awfully familiar, isn't it? Does kind of look a bit like the Curiosity Rover, that one, doesn't it? I suspect that's a lot bigger than the Curiosity Rover. Yes, what else do we have? It's so difficult with these pages falling apart. Uh, I just have to show them individually to you. That... That's a spaceport with those, uh, the, the yellow cab coming. I thought they looked like yellow cabs, those little things. And here's another great image of a ship in flight. Now, the back of that, I'll have to be very careful. What's that? Pan Am. Very much like a 747 that, isn't it? Indeed, because <laughs> that's obviously when that came out, I suppose. So yeah, that's a great image, that one. Let's see. Now, this was some kind of pleasure hotel that was taken over by gangs and ended up getting shut down. Such a shame that these images are falling apart. Yes, what else do we have? That did always remind me of just an animal, but I could never figure out what. <laughs> Let's see. Now, this, I uh, remember the ones of the ships in the asteroid belt the listening posts. This kind of looks like another one from that sequence, doesn't it? Similar kind of ship from what I can tell. So maybe it is essentially the that, but just from a different angle. What else do we have? Now, <laughs> this reminds me of Jabba the Hutt for some reason. <laughs> or perhaps um, one of the um, ships the engineers have in the Alien movies, the, the horseshoe. Oh, I think that might be it. I'm sure there were a couple of others. There was one that very much looked like Cloud City. Uh, not that one that I showed you. I don't think it was that one anyway. Yes, but no, that looks to be about it. Sadly, the quality of the, uh, the binding means I can't really show it to you properly. But yes, Galactic Encounters. Loved all those pictorial books about space travel and exploration and space war. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for a coming topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.